Nicolas Louis Francois de Neuf Chateau was a French statesman, poet, and scientist. Biography Early years born at Safes, in Mordere Moselle, the son of a schoolteacher, he studied at the Jesuit College of Neuf Chateau in the Vosges, and at the age of 14 published a volume of poetry which obtained the interest of Jean-Jacques Rousseau and of Voltaire. Neuf Chateau conferred on him its name and he was elected member of some of the main academies of France. In 1783 he was named Procureur General to the Council of Saint-Domingue. He had previously been engaged on a translation of Ariosto, which he finished before his return to France five years afterwards, but it was destroyed during the shipwreck which occurred during his voyage home. Revolution After the French Revolution, Neuf Chateau was elected deputy supplant to the National Assembly charged with the organization of the département of the Vosges, and elected later to the Legislative Assembly, of which he first became secretary and then president. In 1793 he was imprisoned on account of his supposed political sentiments, as they were deduced from his drama Pamela au la Verte Recompensée, but was set free a few days afterwards with the start of the Thermidorian reaction. Directory in Napoleon in 1797, he became Minister of the Interior, distinguishing himself by his thorough administration. It is Neuf Chateau who initiated the French system of inland navigation. He inaugurated the Museum of the Louvre and was one of the promoters of the first universal exhibition of industrial products. He replaced Lazare Carnet as a member of the French Directory, a position he held between 8 September 1797 and 20 May 1798. From 1804 to 1806 he was president of the Seine Conservateur, coinciding with the establishment of the First Empire. His office implied that he was the one to solicit Napoleon Bonaparte to assume the title of Emperor. In 1803, he was admitted to the Académie Française, and in 1808 he received the dignity of Count. Retiring from public life in 1814, after the Bourbon Restoration, he occupied himself chiefly with the study of agriculture until his death. Works Neuf Chateau had multiple accomplishments, and interested himself in a great variety of subjects, but his fame rests mostly on what he did as a statesman for the encouragement and development of the industries of France. His late poetical productions are not judged to be as original as his youth oeuvre. He was a noted grammarian and literary critic, as is witnessed by his editions of the Lettre Provincialis and Penseus of Blaise Pascal and Alain René Lesage's Gil Blas. He was also the author of a large number of works on agriculture. Bibliography Poesies die verses Ode sur les palmes Nouveau Contes Moreau Les Vosges Fables a contest, les tropes, ou les figures de mots.